All right, welcome back to the show. Let's talk about events that happened this past uh, weekend now. And do you want to start with DreamHack? Yeah. Is that cool? DreamHack, right. of course. First time DreamHack. Normally an event that takes place only in Europe. Finally has spread its wings and head over here to the United States. And it threw its first event here in DreamHack. In, in DreamHack. In Austin. Oh, I might get a delay. Is that what it is? This is no mic. They said there's no mic? Wow. Mm -hmm. Did the audio die? Well, I see the thing is going. Yeah, here. the thing is going. I don't know. Also, when you said spread its wing, I imagine like a bald eagle flying to America. And like, <laughs> this is Dream Hack now. Welcome to Dream Hack. It just soars <laughs> in, talons out. That'd it's America, sick. dude. Now it's it's it's, it's America. Uh, okay. I say it's oh, fine. Yeah. All right, cool. I think they were just talking about the commercial breaks. So. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. I, oh yeah, yeah. We turned it off for okay, a bit. Okay. 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 Um, anyway, anyway. So Dream Hack happened. There were. Obviously a bunch of games, because that's how DreamHack runs. There was, you know, a bunch of shooters where people shoot stuff with guns. And then there was a... Uh, I saw, like, turn-based card games and stuff. There was a turn-based card game, that's right, called Where Blood they Stone. did cards and stuff. Mm -hmm. like, I saw, like, a, 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 a mythical, like, like a cockfighting game or something like that, where you, like, collect animals and made them fight against each other. In, like, Noah's Ark, that's what they Oh, that oh okay, sense. that yeah. makes more sense. Yeah. Anyway, there was also Pokémon. And there was wow. also Street Fighter Five. So you uh, you watched Pokken, huh? I tried to watch a bunch of Pokken, although I only could watch so much. So we were there for Street Fighter Five to commentate that. Wow! And there wow. were there were a good three hundred plus people, I believe, a lot in the, of good in the players tournament. There, yeah, as well as a lot of established top players. Are you talking about Street Fighter? Street Fighter. Okay. Yeah, I had heard the entrance were lower. Is it was it three hundred? That's what we were told. There okay. was a lot of pools there, so right. I, I know okay. I know for like the ten a.m. pools, like Justin. He always gets the early pools, but no one showed up, so he played one game and qualified. Out of oh, so uh, right. So, so he, this is what you might be talking about. Um, there were three hundred plus people signed up, right? But then, because signing up was free, not everybody actually showed up. Right. Okay. So I don't know how many people actually showed up. Okay. But okay. you know, some some number less than three hundred. Yeah. It was really cool. Yeah, it was it was sense. a cool event though. It was definitely. Uh, it's different, I guess, than, than what we're used to. I mean, to, it's Max you know? Esports, you know, but right, um, right, right. but like there were a ton of setups, like a, like an absurdly large amount of setups. Dude, they oh, had like cool. sixty machines for like a pool, like like for like to run like four pools or something wow. like that. Yeah, like, it, it was, was ridiculous. No, yeah, it was. There were sixty four machines for eight pools, is what it was. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's, so they were that's eight, a lot. Eight sets in <coughs> the pool. Yeah, so basically yeah. most machines weren't being used most of the time. Which meant that everybody could play casuals if yeah, they wanted to. Yeah, it meant yeah. that pools went super quickly. I hope that Evo has a similar number of setups, if not more. Because there's going to be a quadrillion I people hope there. More. Yeah, 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 yeah. 4,000 so. engines, probably going to get to 5,000. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's I hope so. Ridiculous. Anyway, it was really cool. And, and uh, everything seemed like it was really well run and the games mm -hmm. were good. So, yeah. all right. Wanna uh, hop into your results then? Sure, no problem. Uh, do you want to do this or? Oh, you can do it if you have it up already. Sure. Okay. Uh, so top eight. We'll just do top eight. Sounds okay. good. Uh, tied for seventh was EG's Ricky Ortiz, who was using only Nash. Oh yeah. wow. She basically said that she really wanted to learn how to use that character, so that was the only character that she used. Really smart thing to do, by the way. I just want to mention, like, if you're trying to learn a secondary character, you have to force yourself into those clutch situations, not run back to your primary character all the time. So as a result, I think having Nash and Chun Li as your two characters is gonna be Good gonna choices. make her really yeah. dangerous. I feel like her problems are mostly against characters that project. Like her anti-projectile stuff isn't super great. Mm -hmm. I mean, she still probably beats everybody, but right. you know, Nash fights Ryu and yeah, and so it's like yeah. yeah, if you want to fight against Ryu and Ken, that makes sense. Um, also tied for seventh, all the way from France, Melty's Will to Pac with Laura, which was awesome for many, many reasons. Obviously, one, look, France came out and played. That's mm -hmm. super cool, right? And two, again, Laura's just not a character that gets much play here in the U.S. Like, That's people true, think yeah. she sucks. But then, like, all these Laura's from Europe and previously from Europe doing super well with that character, so... I think that's kind of cool that Laura ha or uh, Europe has like Laura and Bison. Yeah, we don't see like a ton of that in the U.S. We had a Laura at a uh, Wizard World too. Yeah, we did. She was actually pretty good. Okay. All right. Uh, tied for fifth place was PGF Champ with Dalsum and Fubar Duck with Armika. That was sick. Yeah, we had a really cool Armika. Very, very good ground methodical. game. Yeah, yeah. Very methodical. Yeah, very methodical. Very technical. Mm -hmm. He had a lot yeah, of he got every counter hit so strong into EX, but it was cool. Yeah. Um, 
Fourth place was F3's Alucard <clears throat> with Birdie and Nikali. Lots of Birdie. Mm-hmm. Third place was Ultra Arcade Cyanide with Ken. What a great show. Yeah, Cyanide. Cyanide. We had saw him at Texas Showdown. He did really good this weekend. Cyanide's mm-hmm. a sick dude. My favorite thing he does is in the corner with Ken, you do crouching jab and you just crouch block. Mm-hmm. And if they throw it with. I've seen that, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's all. He would just go to the corner and do crouching jab. And then, like, you try to crouch tech and then throw whiffs and he confirms the target combo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's really that's good. That's a really good uh, bait. Uh, second place was Liquid Knuckle Dew using Nash. And Armika and One Time Guile. Yeah. Got blown up. Yeah. Right, but that was his version of putting on the shades in this game. He, he said <laughs> I mean, he, did I say that exact same thing? I did. said that exact thing. Oh, let me tell you time. what happened. So it was like, oh, like Winter's Finals is happening. It's like Justin and Knuckle Deuce. We were in the kitchen at Rick's house uh-huh. for Wizard World. We're like, let's go put it on. So Rick like turns on the TV and like goes to the thing, and it's like, and Justin Wong advances to grand finals. And we're like, what happened? Yeah. Like, it was that fast. <laughs> it was legitimately like walking yeah, from the bathroom uh, here. here. And yeah, yeah. we're like, it's over already, and we're like, what the heck happened? Well, that's so. exactly what happened. And yeah. you only picked Guy at the end because you could tell the audience was like, kind yeah. of egging him on to do it. Yeah, Justin said told me uh, at Northwest Majors he thinks Karen beats Guy really bad. Oh, okay, hmm. okay. So I was like, all right. I could see that. Well, spoiler alert, you know, you, you mentioned grand winners finals already. The winner of this tournament was Mr. Justin Wong with Karen and only Karen. Yeah. And uh, at this point in time, I mean, maybe even two weeks ago, I was like, hmm, who's the best in the U.S.? At this point in time, I don't even think that there's a reason to question it. Yeah. It's Justin. He's, I feel like he's kind of like how infiltration is with the rest of the world. I feel like that's where Justin is mm-hmm. against everybody else in the States right now. I feel like Justin just ha- has an understanding of this game much higher than everybody else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been saying that it suits him since before the game came out, mm-hmm. you know? And I think going back to final round where he got third, right? I thought uh, it was NCR. You're right. NCR, NCR, he got third. Final round, he just missed it because he lost to Haitani. You're right, yeah. Right. It was, it was, it was yeah. NCR. Um, going back to then, I thought maybe he's the best in the U.S., but mm-hmm. yeah, definitely now. I think that's pretty clear. Yeah, um, it's going to be interesting to see if anyone can start giving him any competition or get up to his level, or what it, or if people can figure out what it is that he's doing that's better than. He's had some close sets, like okay, so at at Warzone he lost the Filipino man three one. Right. Um, that was kind of a bodying, and right, then right. Uh, he had a real close set with Chris at Northwest Majors, mm, true. Uh, and he had a close set with Filipino <laughs> champ yeah, at, yeah, at this one. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's not like he's completely out of reach of anybody, yeah. but yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably the best. I agree. And then there were people who were not even in top eight who were big names. Chris Tatarian, Pierre Balrog, Sien, all ninth, 13th were K-Brad and Julio, uh, LPN. By the way, I really liked Oliver Queen's Ryu as well. Yeah, he was another one of the, like Cyanide, he was like the second level Cinderella player that mm-hmm. jumping in there. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Yeah. Uh, it was a really good tournament, yeah. I really enjoyed watching it. Uh, and It's always cool to see people from Texas play. Yeah. Do you guys have fun? Oh, cool, man. Oh, yeah? Well, for us, I mean, the thing about it, it was really a fun event and everything like that. Just getting there sucked. Oh, yeah. yeah? Oh, I heard you had some crazy oh, snaps. Yeah, uh, tough. Yeah, basically, weekend. we had a red-eye flight that started in LAX, went to San Francisco, then to Austin. And uh, our connection for when we landed in SFO was about half an hour that we had in there. Oof. And in LAX, when our plane got on the tarmac, it stopped, and the guy was like, sorry, they just told us wheels up, we can't go anywhere for an hour. Oh, good. So yeah, we basically nice. didn't go anywhere for an hour, got to SFO, tried to get a flight, couldn't do it, and then basically had to get a flight at 6 in the morning, tried to stand in line to get hotel vouchers, but we seriously, that line was everybody that mm. was there, because everybody missed the flight, right? right? So by the time we would have gotten the vouchers and made it to the hotel... We would have slept for like an hour and had to wake up. So we were like, screw this. We just slept in the airport for like three hours, woke up, and then flew there and landed at like 1.30 and felt like the grossest human beings possible. I yeah. mean, I was sick enough that I, I was wearing a mask even before we left. Yeah. So that lack of sleep definitely did not help that situation. Yeah. Mm. Really that sounds pretty rough. Definitely an early weekend. So I didn't really go out Saturday night in Austin, which is a shame because that place is awesome. Oh well. What can you do? What can you do? That that was how it happened. Um, Pokin tournament results for DreamHack. Pokin yeah. tournament. Seventh place, TYM Bolimar. Do you know that name? 
No. I don't either. But it's test your mic. I Is it actually test your mic? Oh, interesting. Okay. I don't know. I, I asked a few people there and they didn't know. So I just learned a few new. Lucario. Seventh place, uh, Swillow with Mewtwo. Fifth was Maskrin with Gardevoir. I'm learning all these Pokemon names now, by the way. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, fifth, uh, NG Obscure with Mewtwo. Fourth, Circa Suicune Master with Suicune. Okay. Right? That's what you'd expect, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Third was uh, T Lock CPU with Shadow Mewtwo. Second place, DNT8 Catfight with Chandelier, which was pretty sick. Yeah. And then winner was Bim with Sceptile, who had some super dirty setups. And people said they didn't think Sceptile was that good. Really? And a lot of people don't think he's that good. Oh, man. That character seems like it has some dirtiness in there. So yeah. Like, like Sceptile that's, is that's cool. Sceptile, it's, he, he plays like Yoshimitsu in Tekken. How's it going, James? Really? The chat is just spamming who killed Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's an honest question, James. James, I mean... Just hey. like you, they want the answer. Uh, Chandelier is super sick. Second place. A lot of people um, talk about that character being like one of the best, but I'm not sure if that's really true. Yeah. Um, the game's so cool. There was there are a couple Mewtwo's in there, and Shadow Mewtwo, which I think is like probably probably more where the top tier is. Shadow we'll Mewtwo, see. I heard, is like still really, nerfed, really good. Yeah, yeah, they nerfed that character. Really good. All right. Well, I mean, he had a he had an infinite block yeah, streak. He had a right? fireball, so a fireball block streak. It was kind of crazy. Yeah. Also had this thing where you can stay in a phase, like a in heads up mode, dual phase. Yeah, it was crazy. But they took it out. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that was Dreamhack. <clears throat> Tiger uppercut. Tiger uppercut, which took place in Thailand this weekend. Uh, let's do top eight there. Uh, seventh place was Udeal MJS Haitani with Nikali. Mm hmm. Also tied with HM Dogura, who used M Bison. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's super cool for me to see M Bison do really well. You know, because uh, everyone says he's bad, and so it's yeah. like M Bison. Not Europe. I'm like, really? Europe. Yeah, Europe. Is Europe is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, fifth place was Gamer B with Nikali and Marn with Armika. Fourth place Razor Gact with Nash. Third place HM Goichi with Chun Li. Second place Sonic with Laura. Hey. That was super sick. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And first place, HM Ata with Ken. So Ken takes another one. Mm. Interesting. Because the thing about it is, like, Ken's winning. Look, so also at Street Fighter Crash that weekend, I should mention that uh, Momochi actually beat the entirety of Team Razor, I think. Yeah, and, all first to one. Yeah, and including infiltration. Yeah, so it's close. Ken's and it was a crazy comeback to, for him to take that round. Yeah. That was ridiculous. Uh, uh, I was like, there's no way he's going to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's never out of it with that character. Yeah. No. You need two and one good neutral jump. Yep. And you're yep. terrified. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, all right, mid screen shimmy, corner carry. Yeah. Next hit, stun. V trigger yeah. off low strong, you're dead. Like, there's like so many ways. I mean, it's interesting because, like, all the Ken players don't even think Ken's that good, right? Ken players are always like, oh, you know, he's like six or seven. They're That's... notorious whiners, though. Yeah. Most Come of those on, Ken man. players. I mean, I basically tweeted that out that character's character so in bad. This game. Are you serious right now? Okay, well. <laughs> I actually tweeted out that according to everybody, every character is like sixth or seventh best. Because yeah. that's where everyone puts their character. I think most people have like top three or four kind of similar. It's like Chun Li and Ryu are at the top, and then Fang and Zangief are always at the bottom. That's like, that's kind of general. And then everybody mm -hmm. else is just in there. So Some people have Rashid at the bottom instead of like lower than Fang. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I was talking with a couple people like uh, Alucard and Julio this weekend, and neither of them. Uh, no, I should say Alucard doesn't have Nikali in top five or Ken in, ten, in top five. Okay, oh, really? Neither one. Yeah. I'm gonna have to talk to you. He would put he would put Karen up there, which I think is like not unreasonable. Justin character. thinks Karen's the third best character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He said he thinks Karen's yeah. top three, and I mean the way he uses her, it's hard for him. It's hard to not see why he thinks so, because the way he blows some people up with that character is ridiculous. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, Good job, to Sonic. That's cool. And Ata for winning with Ken. Yeah, Sonic who... Like so, so Sonic got second place previous to the DreamHack Top 8, and I was like, oh, look at the European players doing super well, and Sonic, like, tweeting me, he's like, dude, I've been living in Hong Kong for, like, two years now. Mm. I was like, oops, sorry. <laughs> but he's from Europe, but he's only learned Street Fighter Five yeah. in Hong Kong. Okay. But I guess if you have that European blood in you, then you're going to be good with Laura. Yeah, so. You should play Bison too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, honestly, it's super awesome to see Alora doing that well, especially in such a stacked tournament where a lot of people probably just don't think. Like, you know, you're going to see people be like, oh, well, 
this tournament didn't have a lot of good players. That's why that Laura did well. But mm. I mean, Sonic getting six. I mean, he awesome wasn't. List of players. Ada had to come in from loser side. Right. He actually had to win two sets to beat Sonic. Uh, to and Hitani got third at what final round? It was yeah. something yeah. like that. He lost to Tokido because Tokido made that crazy comeback. Which one? Uh, that was no. Tokido did that on Justin. No, 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 no. Tokido did that to Haitani. Haitani. Yeah, 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 where he did like Denji guard break, oh, yeah, dash yeah. forward, dash uh, back, yeah, and then yeah. yeah. Uh, so, like, Haitani should have probably got second at that tournament. Yeah. It was really good, and he got seven, so. Yeah. yeah. No, strong tournament, for sure. Okay. Oh, detonate, not DNT8. I see. Sorry. Mm, Just okay. got, I got a name wrong earlier. Oh. Uh, also, that took place this weekend, I guess, was a, a, an event called uh, Devil's Playground 5, which was a Vampire Savior event, which is really cool. Um, I guess Devil's Playground is uh, basically, I guess six players qualified, and then the last two had to be were like same day qualifiers. Oh, okay. So there's a few Sasquatches, you said. Okay, well you. Uh, yeah. Up. So seventh place was Hellbeat using Zabble, aka Lord Raptor. Uh, also tied for seventh was Sakamoto with QB, and fifth place was Koapa with Sasquatch. Tied with that was Nakanishi with Bishaman. Fourth place was Buzz with Gallon, a.k.a. Talbane. Third place was Didi with Sasquatch. Second place, Komemaru with Zabel, a.k.a. Lord Raptor. And first place, Kaji with Lilith. Interesting. I was about to say, yeah, was, is, like, am what? I out of touch? <laughs> yeah. What? That's really surprising. Vampire surprise. Savior. Yeah. I was going to wait for you guys, but yeah, that, that didn't look right at all. Right, yeah. <laughs> that just seems like one of those situations that Kaji is just like super good. Interesting. You He's know? been playing. He never stopped playing. Probably. There are people like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. for sure. That's actually yeah. really cool. Talbot, though. Interesting, I, interesting. I yeah. like it. Talbot's so sick. Yeah, I'm a big, uh, uh, so I'm a big was, Donovan guy. Donovan's cool. It was streamed on Nico, but Donovan wasn't in Vampire. Yeah, no, no, I know. I'm just saying, that's why I didn't play it. Although, I will <laughs> say, when they moved him to the home version of it, yeah. they did a really sick job yeah, on, did, on Donovan. Did. I really liked what they but did. But he wasn't turning him illegal, though. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, whoop, I'm not playing his game. But he was just always such a cool concept he's for a such character. such a sick character. Because yeah. I like the fact that in Vampire Series, when they put him in, and when you clap the sword, you can strike it with lightning. Yeah. So it became like a screen. Like you kind of controlled the screen. I'm with you, dude. Cool. And then you could launch it, and then it was really Like cool. every character in that series, except for Sasquatch, is super sick. Man, super you don't cool. like Sasquatch? He seems like the most basic, uninteresting character ever. Mm. He's a giant puffball. You hop snow. forward, oh, my loads of lower overhead. Well, that was Vampire Saber for sure. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> it's interesting because he was top tier. In the original, I like how he's holding it so, in the original so close to the heart. I just think he was boring. I don't mm. know. Every other character was super cool, though. Wizarding World. Wizarding World. Wizard World. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it's Wizard World. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> I'm thinking Who about... Who killed Wizard, I, Wizarding no, 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 World's dad? No, 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 I'm talking about Universal Studios. Of course. They just opened up Harry, Potter. Harry Potter's Wizarding World. You know they had a booth there for it? No. It was yeah. so... It Did was the Wizarding Butter World beer? booth at Wizard World, and I was like, this is complicated. Did they, <laughs> they have butter beer? No, but they try to hand me flyers every time I walked yeah, by. I just, I just really, really annoyed. I just threw one out so they could leave me alone. Yeah, I didn't fill out anything. I was like, oh, I just like deflected, you know? I was like, oh, this kind of... Stuff. I think it's odd that they don't post these results so we can just see them. Well, we got to talk to them about that. But uh, top three, top three was third place was Mike Webb, who played Nash was really good. He beat Hanzo Gonzo, so you know. He's oh really yeah, good. he's actually from St. Louis. Oh, he's from St. Louis. Uh, <laughs> Hanzo was there. He did. Did he make top three? No. Hanzo did make top. Three. Not even top eight. Really? Yeah. What yeah. happened to Hanzo? I don't know. He's yeah, a legend. At one point, he was the number one Nikali. On the leaderboards. That's true. Mistakes were made. That's true. Ah. Second place was Kangaroo, who played uh, Karen, was really good. First place was Nasser. And we got to watch his re whiff throw fierce uppercut. It was the sickest. Everybody got hit by all the things. Every Nasser, Nasser won the tournament, huh? <laughs> yeah. So there wasn't that many good players that was <laughs> Nasser would be everybody in this room. And that's the best part. And like everybody in the chat, including Hanzo Gonzo. Right there. I played him in, in online sets. Uh, I think we're even, but like it's super frustrating. It's so oh, annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, I was like, I know he's gonna do stupid stuff. So I know it. When I play but him, then he does different stupid stuff than what I think he's gonna do. Right. I played him, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> and I did the exact same. Like, him and I went about even with every character I played, and I feel like I never played the match, like the Ryu matchup in my life. I literally played <laughs> block or not block. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. like, yeah. like so I played a character who I was like day one with, and we went even. And then I picked a character I knew, and he beat me, like in that set. And yeah. I was like, yeah. did I just guess right yeah, more in the other set? <laughs> like, what happened? It was like so he, like. He like, played Cammy against me first, oh. and I like beat him up, and then he switched to Ryu, and I was like, I don't even know what's happening. I, yeah. But I don't understand why his play style, does it, make, does it matter that he's playing Ryu? Probably not. But, right? Like, I feel like he would play exactly the same if he played Cammy. Or Any character played, with like, an invincible uppercut. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, Ken, yeah. anybody. Yeah, because I was crushed down on the crap out of him. He was like, I'm just going to wake up DP. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then he switched and I still got by. And it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's just going to... I, I don't think that makes sense, but all right. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, but it was it was pretty good. It was it was some really unique players there, people that we hadn't seen. I say unique, not to get away from good, but it was just the fact that <laughs> these guys that were playing, like, they were all good. Yeah. And Nasser is he's not a bad player. He's so not, no, for sure. Yeah, sure. Um, and Tekken there was really good. Oh my god. Tekken, Tekken was, was crazy. So I can't remember all of top five. Right. But I'm pretty sure it was like a Geo got fifth. Uh, Mateo X. was up there right there. Mateo, Weapon I think X. he got fourth, and, and and then Weapon X, who's from SoCal. They actually had a few out of town. They oh, had cool. uh, guys from New York came, mm. guys Sparrow from Tennessee, uh, Sparrow Gen. It was a bunch of people. Some friends from St. Louis came. That's nice. It was actually a pretty fleshed out bracket, but um, when it came to the results, I can't remember who got fifth and fourth, but third was Mystic Bill from New York. Um, second was Rip. Mm, again. <laughs> again. Again, again, again. Like, that's uh, like the third time. And first was uh, yeah. Zero the Shadow. Zero the Shadow was playing Claudio. Rip was playing oh, Law. Mystic Bill was playing, uh, I believe he's playing Claudio as well, too. Claudio, I think he's playing Claudio. But that, that's a new character. And yeah. Rip just complained about, you know, it being Everything. a new character. But the best thing was, <laughs> at, so Rip was making all these faces. Every time he'd get hit, he's like, you know, doing this. They have and a then, reel uh, of his reaction. There was faces. a highlight replay. And it was just Rip's reactions. And it was so Genius. good because it starts with really positive. There's even one where he's like, I'm the best. And you can see, and he goes, I'm the best. And he points uh-huh. to the other guy, and then like he does that. And then as it goes on, as he's losing the set, yeah. it gets more and more yeah. depressed. <laughs> and there's one where he literally goes like this, and it looks like he was going to throw up. Like, yeah. it was that bad. And then he finally loses, and he's like... That's awesome. Did they and upload he, this to YouTube? It yeah. should be. On, it, it's on the archive, but the best part is Street Fighter comes up, and me and him are commentating top eight. And they were like, all right, we're going to go to our first match. And then they put the reel up. And they played the reel. And I'm like, talk me through this, Rip. And he's just like, man, why is this on here? Don't we have Street Fighter matches to go to? Blah, blah, blah. That's awesome. It was so good. The reel was amazing. It's awesome. Oh, oh it was so perfect. So did, did anyone here actually get a chance to watch Arturo on Tiger the Beast? Yeah, we, 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 we were actually, out watching We actually it. watched it. Um, we were all there making our claims. Like, he's going to do this. He's going to do that. He's going to beat these people. And we were wrong, because he got <laughs> beat up pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, dogs. I heard Daigo, like, busted out, like, some crazy anti dalsum stuff, or... Well, they stayed... He played so aggressive. Yeah. It was, like, way more aggressive than I expected. It was like, finally, is... he was, like, Daigo Ryu. Right, well, because that's the thing is, Daigo's not played re- aggressive Ryu in Street Fighter Five yet, I yeah. feel like. And so to hear that he's actually played super aggressive Ryu is is And you knew he felt confident after it, because... After he beat Art, and it, it first is like the game screen, and it cuts back, and Daigo's face is like the camera. He like stood and up. he legit was looking at the camera, and then he backs up and sits down. Yeah, it's like... And I was just like, wow. He popped uh, <laughs> Okay, you know. Um, and that was after um, Art lost to Fudo as well, 5-1. Right. And then he lost to Daigo, 5-0. Yeah. Arturo won the first game against Fudo. Yeah, yeah. And they got 5-0'd, and then oh. 5-0'd. Dude, people are getting really creative with these nicknames, by the way, since the Perfect Legend one, right? Okay. So it's Arturo Zero Sanchez. Oh, no. five. Yeah, Arturo yeah. Five Ochez or whatever. Yeah, yeah it's pretty yeah. good. Oh, and five, yeah. It's clever. I mean, and, and, and of course, Arturo took to Twitter to say, like, hey, these guys are really good. Like, yeah. really, really oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah. But um, Fudo and Daigo also said that they had very, very hard tech. Using I can't remember the Dawson player's name. Um, but, Mochi, they played yep, Mochi. They said yeah. they, they, they but if you if you go back and you look at the set, you'll see that there was some stuff that was happening that you was like, There's no way that you're doing this on reaction. Like Fudo was doing some crazy yeah, teleport he tech where he would do buffer um EX grab mm. um on teleport and oh. catch him out of the air every time mm. and 
Daigo was doing kind of like the same tech. It was just a bunch of like hard reads happening and crazy punishes. Fudo had this tech with Crouching Fierce. Like with the, the the spot he did it was so good because if Arturo back teleported or whatever, he would just chase him with air throw every time. And it was like, and everything he did was, so he'd go full screen. If Arturo does a limb, he V-reversals it. Yeah. And if Mika gets V-reversal, it yeah. sucks you in. Oh! So it was like you in. Screen. And then wow, she that's... does dash forward and she's plus. So... Dalsum oh, has to damn. get, yeah, Dalsum has to get. Well, as if the Mika Dalsum match wasn't kind of bad already. Well, I'll tell you, Art thought that Sim beat Mika. Yeah. He was like really? one of the few who thought that. But that makes me think twice. Yeah. V Re reversing limbs from far. And every time he did blast on block, you'll, like he would do like back medium kick, blast. Yeah. He would V reversal it and then take the mix, force the mix up every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, to look, to Art, a lot of people are blowing up Art. Look, Art is an amazing player, and to his credit, even a lot of the Japanese players told him, like, if you lived in Japan, you'd be one of the best. Like, they, they said that to him. I so. mean, a, a major compliment is the fact that they told him, they're like, hey, we had to go train for this. Yeah. That's not something that was just going to happen. <laughs> like, they didn't just say, like, oh, you're free. They were yeah. just like, look, Dude, we knew we you We haven't played coming. the game in a month. You suck. Do like, you remember two Capcom Cups ago when, when people asked Daigo about Snake Eyes? Like, oh, yeah. are you worried about Snake Eyes? He's like, it's just saying you. Like, they asked him, how did you prepare for Snake Eyes? He's like, it's just sand Yeah. Like, he didn't even practice. He didn't do anything. And then he blew up Snake Eyes, right? Yeah. So. yeah, he did. But I don't know how true that is. I don't know how true that is. I don't know. Hard Daigo's got it. Daigo. And I'm not taking anything away from What are you trying from, to say? I'm just saying. I said, I just, Daigo's got that extra layer of mind games. I'm Dude, the saying. way he beats Snake Eyes, I feel like he just, that's the truth. You like, just he, think he, he just... just when he plays Snake Eyes, it's like, man. Yeah, he just yeah. outfits his own. It's just like, standing in a better spot. Always, yeah. yeah. It feels yeah. like it's like not a, a match. Yeah. yeah. And that Snake Eyes is so good, it's crazy that right. that happens. Yeah. And sure. I'm, I'm, keep in mind, chat, I mean, now they're all talking about how Zangief sucks. This was back and forth. Street Fighter 4, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that Daigo did this, so. Well, I mean, regardless, I mean, anyway. I feel like, I mean, watching that set between those players, though, and the, the tech that they came up with in that short amount of time, regardless how long they had to, to perfect it, and then, you know, put it into their game, I'm still amazed. I feel like once I saw that, I was like, there's a lot more to this game that, that's still left to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And the best part is like the first hour of the stream was them just showing off the anti Dawson tech they were right. about to do. They're like, here's what's about <laughs> this to is go how down. we're going to beat up Arturo. Yeah. <laughs> they gave you the battle plan. Yeah, they're like, oh, look, man. we're going to break it down oh, like this. Geez. And Arturo was like there. He was in person. Oh, really? Yeah, he like saw it all. Oh, jeez, that so sucks. It's, like, it's not like it That's was anything. It's part of the mind game, man. <laughs> That's like, you know what that makes Enemy me like, territory. It's like that true lie scene where like Schwarzenegger's sitting there. He's like, you know, he's got with the truth oh, here. And yeah. like, I'm going to escape. How are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to pick my, like, I'm going to grab the knife there, stab you, use you as a human shield, and do all this stuff. They used them as a human shield. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what they did, dude. He rough. told them exactly I was going to kill them, so. But yeah, I mean, I saw that, and like I said, I was re I was impressed with the level of play, and I was even I was impressed with the tech. But like I said, it just made me think about where Street Fighter Five stands mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. as a, a super tech. Well, game. I mean, the, the one thing about that game I've always said that I like about it so much is I really do feel like it, it allows for a lot more player creativity and a lot more personality to shine through. So like, yeah, I think the game is super player versus player. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, especially this game, and I've never been one to like say, well, you need to fight the player, but in this game, it's it's on such a small scope that it's, you're fighting the person. You're not Agreed, fighting yeah. the character too much. All right, what's coming up, Jimmy? Uh, well, some coming up events this weekend. There's a Battle Arena Melbourne 8, which is taking place in Australia. It's going to be a lot of streams there. Wow, so there's, wow, there's streams. so many. Yeah, twitch.tv slash new game plus TV, Googie Gaming, Zero X underscore FGC, uh, SAS Melbourne Smash, Melbourne Melee, Kaizmo, and Jet Smash. That's like one for every game, basically. Yeah, I know. That's because the game's list is Melee, Smash Four, Street Fighter Five, MKXL, USF Four, <laughs> Dead or Alive, Exerd, BBC PEX, and Tekken Seven. So there's nine games. Oh, and Tekken and, Seven and seven streams. Hmm. That's, That's right. awesome. That sounds like a big thing. Yeah. It definitely sounds like it's a big thing. Yep. Well, when does that start? Uh, that is starting on Friday Australia time. So 6 a.m. apparently. Uh, our for time. our time? Yeah. Okay. For our Pacific time. time. For, uh, I think it would be Pacific time. I'm not yeah. sure w which time zone ma uh, Malice is uh, who makes this calendar. So. Oh, but since this is Google Calendar, it might adjust to our mm. location. 
All right. Uh, also coming up this weekend, uh, Lapchi is throwing Canada Cup Vancouver series. So it's just like a little extra Canada Cup uh, event on the side. I know, like, do we know when the real, like, the big Canada Cup is? October. In fact, that's oh, okay. something that we're going to talk about in just a little bit. Okay. We have news on that. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Patience, Steve. Uh, I don't know. It got me thinking about it. Um, this was actually mostly kind of a Marvel event. Like, there's definitely Street Fighter Five there, but a lot of the exhibitions are very Marvel-based. So, uh, Justin Wong's going to be there, Kane Blue River's going to be there, B-Ball's going to be there. Of course, Air is going to be there, but uh, they will be playing Street Fighter Five, UMVC3, MKXL, Pokken, Exert, Revelator, Uniel, BBCPEX, uh, Melee, and Smash 4. Uh, I'm assuming it's just going to be streamed on Canada Cup Gaming or uh, it was Canada Cup, I think it was. They don't list it here, right. but I know that they're going to have a Cane Blue River versus B event, Ooh. and I think Justin Wong is going to go up against Cane Blue River or B or one of those Ooh. two. There's definitely going to be some uh, exhibitions there. If it's an event in Canada and they have Marvel, it's going to be B versus somebody. Yeah, and he just gets dragged from wherever he is in the can in Canada, and they're like, "You play Marvel." Yeah, Lapchi has pretty much put him up against like every single Marvel player. He's like, I haven't played the game in four years. He's like, you're going to play a first of 15 against <laughs> Justin Wong. That's how this goes. I'm like, all right. But the, whoever wins gets a free flight and seating to in Street Fighter V for Canada Cup. Oh, that's sick. It says, it says awesome. free flight and seating to highest placing Canadian in Street Fighter V for Canada Cup. Oh, so the highest place oh, okay, placing okay. Canadian player because they're just like, yeah, Justin's gonna win. Right. Gets <laughs> gets seating and flight to Canada Cup. And so plus that's cool. another thing too is that also I think it's probably more significant for that because yeah. they've actually told me that flying Canada to Canada is it's more super expensive, expensive than right. like flying Canada to the United States. Wow. Like sometimes it's and cheaper. Canada Cup's a premier event, right? I, I, I yeah, I believe so. so. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Really, a premier? Event? It's a premier this year, I think. Yeah, I, I, it was last year as well. It was yeah, last year yeah, when Tokido yeah. won that one. So, But, I mean, I've heard it's cheaper sometimes to fly from Canada to the States to Canada, you know, mm -hmm. than just going from Canada to Canada. That's weird. Uh, also, this coming up weekend, of course, Cockatop League is continuing in France. Uh, this is the fourth, I guess Sounds this like is number, league yeah. number four. <laughs> It'll be streamed on twitch.tv slash gaming live underscore TV one. One thing that, uh, I, I, this is basically like... Um, uh, Ken Bogard's like thing, so it's like one of his events here, so it's very cool. All right, and uh, yeah, should be really interesting. Cool stuff. Round robin stuff. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so we've got a few little bits of game news, community news, not too much this week. So, All right. Uh, let's just go through that super quick. Um, Good. So for some events, where's my event stuff? Why do I? Okay, here we go. Canada Cup, as we said, was returning in is is returning in October. So last year it was on Halloween weekend. Same thing in a oh, yeah. situation here. Right. So it'll be returning on October 20, 28th. Uh, the tournament will take place at the Holiday Inn. It'll be back in Toronto again, like it was last year. Okay. Uh, a trailer just came out for this, uh, mm. so you can definitely check that out. You can go to showroom.com, check out. Just do a search for Canada Cup, and you should be able to find uh, the trailer for that. But it'll be October 27th through the 31st, uh, through the 30th. So we should be back in time to do any Halloween party. Hey, that, we can do Halloween this time. Yeah. I was so sad last year that I could not. Yeah. You dress up or what? Usually. I mean, I had planned to do Marty McFly because it was 2015, but uh, we were abroad, so. Mm -hmm. You didn't bring it with you? No. So you could do it on commentary? No, I ended up not even buying it. Cause uh. By the time I decided for sure it was like, the like the legit costume would have been $6,000. Oh, what okay. the? Well, that's it. So I didn't do it. $6,000. I feel like you just that's need like... I was going for at the time. Yeah, I mean, you, you can get like, like... Yeah, you can get jankier versions, obviously, for way less, but like... He's like dressed as a normal person. How expensive? No, 2015 Marty McFly has like a fancy jacket and different shoes and his jeans, but... You like the like the crazy like six thousand dollars? Yeah, to buy like the legit copies of stuff. What? Yeah. And you were gonna do that? Yeah. No, that's why I didn't do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I, was I was like, like oh, what kind of lawyer dollars this guy? No, no, I was saying by by the time I I really looked into it, it was way too late. If I had looked into it like a couple of years ago or something, because I had been planning it for a lot, forever, right, it right, would have right. been obviously way less. Okay. Anyway. 
Well, also, uh, Evolution, I'm not sure how they pulled this off, but they have now gotten their Twitter account to be just at Evo. I let Markman did it, so I'm going to give him credit. Yeah, that's Markman's yeah, a genius. Right. I did it somewhere. It's not Evo know. 2K anymore. Oh, it's that's just awesome. at Evo. They got at and Evo. And it's verified now. Yeah, so, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's I'm giving wrong. Markman credit for all this. Probably right. Yeah, yeah you're, I would say, like 99%. I would say so. I'm just going to yeah. assume. So there you go. Um, but that's cool. So if you want to look up any information, follow them. It's just at Evo now on Twitter. Um, London Comic Con. Uh, when is that taking place? That is going to be taking place uh, May 27th to 29th. If you're in England and you want to give a shot at Tekken 7, it will be playable there. Sick. So if you have not had a chance to try Tekken 7 in England and you want to, Head to the London Comic Con, that is, uh, where it will be playable. A um, little bit of news here on Capcom for Street Fighter V. Uh, so their intent was to sell 2 million copies before the end of the fiscal year. Right. And they just announced the numbers that it was 1.4 million. Mm -hmm. So they were definitely uh, lower than what they had expected, but given the initial launch, like the fact that they actually were even that close, I feel like is kind of impressive. I'm surprised. Yeah, I thought the numbers were gonna be. Low. I thought they were gonna be a lot lower. I can't. I can I'm gonna be 100 percent. Like all the reports were like, yeah, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody bought it. Ten copies sold. <laughs> that was still way under what they had projected. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's still pretty far, but I. I I actually personally give a lot of credit to the FGC and all the events. Despite you know what it's sold, the events have been hype. People are excited about it. Kind of shows you the power that you know esports really does have for these games. You know, despite not selling well initially, beside you know, despite having this bad word of mouth, maybe the events have been hype enough that people have still been picking up the game during this whole entire time. You know, and with Guile and Alex coming out. Yeah, that's always hope it works out. I've always, I've there have been games where I watched first, like competitive play, and I was like, this looks really fun. I'm gonna try this. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, yeah, I could see that maybe being a factor. Yeah. For sure. I also, feel like it's a, it'll pick up. It'll. I think. It's a long term plan. It's a long term plan. Exactly. Yeah. This isn't. This isn't something that you know. It's gonna go away really yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, at some point, there will be a story mode. Mm -hmm. There will be more characters. More characters. Maybe Ooh, they'll fix the else? online or yeah. the lag. Or, or, the most important thing, they stopped that clipping of Birdie's chain. Oh, I told you, man, I got chewed out for complaining about that at E3. Yeah. They are like, it'll be fixed next version, you dummy. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. I'm worrying about it. Yep. Yeah. That one is... I thought you were going to say make it so that you can unlock colors without playing survival mode. But yeah. No, no, or make it so that, you know, the second player can, like, actually, actually do stuff. The, yeah, yeah, that would be good, to too. Characters. Like, in any case... Uh, th I didn't have this open, but you know there was news today that uh, Disney is shutting down Disney Infinity, uh, and they're yeah. quitting out of making games, and so they're gonna go. They're shutting down their own gaming studio, right. so they're going back to licensing other companies. So a lot of people were like, Marvel, 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 yeah. Marvel, right? And I'm just thinking like, like a lot of people were like, Marvel Four, Marvel Four. I'm like, dude, look. That's gonna be expensive. That's all. It's gonna take forever. Man. Forget it. Just let's let's just get enough license to patch Marvel Three, mm -hmm. put it back digital sales again on online, and then uh, maybe add like two or three like three or four characters or something like that. I feel like that's even less likely than Marvel Four. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like that's, that's like super that not happening. Yeah, yeah, I tweeted out and it said wishful thinking. On well, the, just know. because look, that team is done. So in order to restart that team, you have to. You have to hire them. Them. Hire people. Who knows, like what assets they have to remake right. again, uh -huh. and to go through that. Believe me, that is a whole rigmarole of yeah. a process. Yeah. Just getting the licensing in the first and you place. Know the, and you know they're I, not going to do that unless it's like worth it. And and plus, the only way way you get people to buy it again is if you put in new interesting characters. And that game was not built for DLC. Shuma and Joe were on disc already, yeah. right? So I I bet you there's no like real plug-in technology well, for the character. I, I think yeah. I, I think it's more likely that a Marvel 4 would happen only because of Marvel. If Marvel felt like it would do them some good to have that character knowledge out there, they'd do it. I mean, the entire cast of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 had a movie coming out within right. five years right. of that game. Uh, uh, There's not one character mentioned that didn't have some kind of big screen affiliation. Okay, look, I haven't seen it yet, so no spoilers. Okay. 
But, dude, can you imagine if they put Black Panther in the game? Oh, oh my, my God. God. You don't even understand. Have you guys seen this movie? I haven't yet. seen it yet. Oh I have not seen it yet. Oh, my God. This conversation <coughs> is at an end. I almost lost an arm. Dude. Because I, I was just, sitting I next to him. I don't hear about it. I just want to see the movie for myself. All right. I've seen not, it twice already. I've seen it twice. I can't wait. I'm going to see. I'm, I saw it twice in Minneapolis. Yeah. I'm going to see it at least two more times. At no questions I asked. To, I need to go with you to see this. It's amazing. Friday night. And the best part is we got to go see it like it was like a closed. Actually, yeah. Movie. Do you guys want to do that? We could. We could go we see it. That. I'll be down for That's that. That's a great idea. I'd be so I'm down. We should see it and then do a show after to talk Friday about it. No, we shouldn't do that. That's dangerous. While we play Mario Party. Oh. That sounds like a great night to me. Doesn't it sound good? Yeah. Okay, I'm down. Civil War. Mario right. Party night after. You can drink, right? You're old enough? Yeah. Alright, good. All right. <laughs> Don't forget your ID. And none of that pesky school ID crap. He did that last time, you know? I and totally never did, by the way, for the record. Sure. But yeah, <laughs> people are like, yeah, he's... Yeah, alright. Dang, that sounds sick. Civil War was so good! Oh my god! Backwards compatibility. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. You're going to love it's it. So I'm good. looking forward to it. Oh my so god. god. Good. I don't want to lose an arm right now. All right, okay. okay. I almost, like, <laughs> circulation, I looked over and it was like, Mark, I was, I was arm sorry. arm was, like, purple. Okay, yeah. Wait, wait, honorable mention to Mark Man, right? We talked right? about spooky after, but yeah, keep going. So what ends up happening was, like, Rip was playing Tekken 7 in, like, Grand Finals, right? And it was, like, on the verge of a reset because he was in Winners. And the Zero the Shadow guy was coming back. Okay. And they just added, like, super moves. So you see them doing, like, the dance. They're like, oh. who's going to hit who's first? Who's going to hit oh, who's first? Really, yeah. And, like... The guy Zero the Shadow does a move, like, woof, and, like, Rip is, like, back here, and he activates Super, and I'm like, it's no way it's gonna reach, and this is one of the reactions they caught, he's like, I'm the best, yeah. because it hit him and it killed him, oh my god, it was ridiculous. That it, was so, it was winner's finals, and Rip literally sets the stick down and, and walked away. off, and, like, uh, walked, and he did, like, the, um, yeah, he did the, nice. the Rip, and the best god. part, so he had this, did like, the Rip walk? Yeah, the, the, oh. you don't know about the ripple. <laughs> so he had this, a smoothie and it had a little umbrella on it and everything. And he oh grabs the smoothie yeah. and he's out of there. Like it was like the slickest <laughs> the thing umbrella. I've ever seen. That smoothie was great. That's awesome. It was an eight dollar convention smoothie. Oh, yeah. I hope it was great. It yeah. was reasonable. It was okay. actually pretty good. Okay. But yeah, I grab I grab Mark's arm and this is why I say honorable mention because I don't know if they have the footage of this, but I grabbed his arm when it happened and Mark looked at me like I was his father. He was like. <laughs> like I was about to take him somewhere. Like I stood up and was like freaking out. He was just like, I felt my soul leave my body. I said, Mark, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shout out to the Mark man. Oh man. Well, what else is going on? Okay, uh, Samurai Showdown Two is now available on Xbox Ooh. One. Backwards compatibility was available on Xbox oh. Live Arcade before. Now is it playable on Xbox One? Interesting. So if you want to play some Samurai Showdown Two, you can do that on. A console that six of you people in the stream own. Yeah, not even on. Yeah. Uh, some community news coming up. Uh, Jabali supposedly has parted ways with Iron Galaxy Studios. He bounced. Um, so I guess he's not going to be part of the Killer Instinct team. Indeed. Uh, there's no information on what he will be doing in the future. I'm sure he's got something good lined up. Yeah. yeah um, that would make sense. But I'm sure he's, I mean, still going to be running CEO, doing a lot of good right. CEO right. things. So. Uh, I like to talk about community people coming out with really cool series of videos and such like that. Uh, two of my fa personal favorite commentators, Mr. Ketchup and Mustard yeah. from uh, England, uh, are doing a new tutorial city series and they discuss frame data basics. Sounds I've done good. That as well, and I just haven't <laughs> uploaded any of it to YouTube. <laughs> I'm that was probably been traveling. Been traveling. I uploaded traveling, a frame so. data basics for Mortal Kombat a year ago. <laughs> but it probably wasn't as thorough as this, I'm sure. Yeah. But definitely check that out. So very, very good stuff there from these guys. Yeah, those guys are really good at educating. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh, and of course, uh, Vis Visant, Viscant, whatever you want to call him, uh, continuing his hitting the ground, hit the ground running series. And this time he focuses on learning to play Guile. These are really good, by the way. They if really you haven't read these, sure. you should definitely check them out. They're so the good. Vassant has Agreed. always been one of the best writers yeah. in the FGC, hands down. Yeah. And so the fact that Kugi gets him to write more is, like, genius. Like, like I remember when he was writing basically these things a dozen years ago, but they were, like, hidden in the depths of SRK. Forum posts, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, like, ten people saw them. Really? Yeah, I mean... But he's always done it. Like, he, he'll, he'll do it regardless of... Getting paid or whatever—it's just yeah. what this camp does. 
and he does a really good job. Those, yeah. those things help a so lot. Good. Even if you know a lot, they're still good sure. basic tools grabber. So. And also, some signing news. We're definitely getting a lot of movement with players these days. We just had a Julio and a LPN signed from NorCal. Well, SoCal is now joining that. This is also NorCal. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not sure. Man. This is also NorCal. I'm not You're sure. Right. You're right. Alex Myers has been signed to Ronin Esports, and you guys are absolutely right. Yeah, he's pretty much NorCal yeah, these days. Yeah. So. so Alex Myers is now part of the team. Uh, I guess... Uh, Ronin Esports. Yeah, Ronin Esports. He is their first Street Fighter player. Uh, so this is their first foray into fighting games. I know nothing about Ronin Esports. They got a CSGO team. Uh, yeah, right down here. Team Fortress 2 and Paladins. So I don't know what Paladins is. Me neither. I heard it was a sick game. Really? But I heard okay. it was a sick game. Do I know that for sure? Not yet. I hope that I'll he... let you guys know next week. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Fair I hope that he got a cool deal and he's taken care of. Congratulations, yeah, though. That. Alex Myers puts in a lot of lab work. Yeah. No. Um, I can't wait to see what he does. I mean, like you said, people, I feel like a lot of sponsors are snatching up these guys yeah. because they see that they've been putting in work for a long time. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people see that Alex Myers, I've never even heard of that guy. Well, you probably haven't because they're kind of buried under all the really good players where they play as well. And they're not bad. It's just the fact that there's so many good players that mm -hmm. once they get picked up, you can pick up these other players that are still really good that you might not have been watching. But they were watching, so. Yeah, he's an up and coming guy still. I mean, but he got top eight at something, right? Northwest majors. Yeah. Oh, okay. There okay. you go. Okay. All right. He beat PR Rog in winners to make winners top eight. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, he okay. did really well. All right. Well, congratulations to Alex Myers. Yep. Man, all these players that I used to be able to beat at Wednesday Night Fights are yeah, all dude. getting sponsors now. That was seven years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you bodied Alex Myers at. In Street Fighter Five at uh, that's true. What was it? PlayStation Experience. Yes. <clears throat> Sent him to the back of the line. I did. I did. I am one and zero lifetime. Well, I guess what was it? A two out of three set. I guess I'm two and zero lifetime against Alex Myers. Easy peasy. In Street Fighter Five. And it will always remain that way. Because you'll never play him again. That's what I would do. 100%. Dude, that's the way it works. You have always have to. So play. I saw Justin like a week after the the week Street Fighter Five came out at Wizard World. Uh -huh. And the first thing he said to me is, when are you going to let me body you in Street Fighter V? Because I beat him in the beta online. I beat his Chun-Li with Birdie. <laughs> I'm undefeated against him. Mm -hmm. Never playing him again, mm -hmm. ever. If I run into him online, I'm turning my console off. Yeah. I'm never going to wow. play him again. 1-0. 100% oh, oh, win rate. So Forever. Using Cammy and Super Turbo, I'm also 1-0 against Justin Wong. Never play him again. Turbo, and I'm never going to play Cammy against him ever again. 100% so, win rate. That's what yeah, you should do. Uh, there's nothing he can ever do about it. Yeah, pretty much. Championship of the universe, man. Exactly. Ch championship exactly. of the universe. The master of the universe set. Boom. 1-0. Oh. <laughs> not cool, guys. That's 100% cool. Yeah, for me. I mean, a lot of people are yeah, like, why, why is not Tokido sponsor? Look, like, those guys, they're I'm waiting, sure they're waiting yeah. for the right They're talking to, along. like, the yeah. people right yeah. now. They're not uh, talking to, like, some East little, you know, whatever. They're talking to, like, the big leagues. Yeah, yeah exactly. 100%. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. So I know that they're I like, know. oh, the state of California. You want to sponsor me? Huh? <laughs> All right. So wait, I have a question. Yeah. What do you guys feel about um, just the regular esports team, like uh, the, the team that's mostly focused on like CS:GO or League of Legends mm -hmm. or Dota 2, picking up a fighting game player? Do you feel Do you feel like it's the natural step, or do you just feel like flavor of the month? Yeah, yeah. Kind of thing? Uh, probably a combination, but it's been. It's been happening since the very start. Like, EG wasn't a fighting game team. They were whatever they were before. They're doing mostly, like, what, StarCraft, like, and they have Dota. Yeah, they have Dota. yeah, I don't remember what they were doing before fighting games. I don't know if they were in Dota yet, but um, yeah. in any case, like, they were an established team, for sure. Um, and when they came in, they were the first big fighting game sponsor, so it's been like that from the very start. But, yeah, I think that, I don't know. I'm not really sure where fighting games are going to go. Right. I don't know, but I think that's... Like, there's a big esports rush right now, and everybody's feeling it, and there's constantly news stories about how, like, today, today, I read about some, a governor of, I think, Nevada was like, let's make Nevada the esports state. Really? Seriously. I would love to read that. Yeah. What the heck? No, I'm totally, I'm being totally serious. That's crazy. So, it's, and for, and the country of France just came out with a thing that was like, here's our thoughts about esports and how we're going to, like, maybe regulate it and maybe try to promote it. Okay. The country of France. Yeah. Wow. Country of France, Tokido in the future. They, by the way, <laughs> you know who they interviewed? 
to try to get some thoughts about what that what they should be doing. No, David, who did they? Who they did interviewed they? one David Graham. Oh, <laughs> from DPG <laughs> one Law. David some Graham. DPG Law. Yeah. Anyway, the so they got France nuggets of information. Him? Country of France interviewed. So was it like one long line and every person got a question or what? Yeah, yeah, dude. It took a while. It took a while. I had to, I had to use Google Translate. Uh, <laughs> like, wee wee. So that's how the process went. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, actually, I'm sure it started with David's like, I could probably remember enough French to do this. <laughs> yeah, I know. And right? then, like, oh, he yeah. opens the email and he's like, I'm going to need a person. <laughs> Thankfully, it was uh, somebody who spoke English pretty well. So okay. Anyway. Yeah. Um, no, but the, the point is that there's this whole rush right I knew now. It was, I knew something was coming because I felt his presence <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah, close yeah. to me. I was like, I felt the lean. This was happening. Dude, like, I tell you, that's why that Nasser video of paying everybody out was yeah. the best. David's <laughs> leaning in. David at the very end walks up. And like, the I just felt his I presence. Do do that. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, this is about to get ugly. <laughs> Um, yeah. Look, I don't know where the esports rush is gonna go. Is it another bubble? I have no idea. But everybody's trying to get into it, so I think it makes sense that they're doing it for fighting games too. Yeah, I, I think for most teams, it's like fighting games are a much smaller investment than anything else. Like it costs you oh, so yeah. much less money that it's almost like, like a guy to a tournament. It's like a why not? Like you you slap a jersey on him and pay for his you know here and there that's and then true. that's like that. Yeah, there's no like esports team house. You don't have a coach. You don't yeah, you don't have to don't pay have for the, their existence not and like do some all this crazy PC that you have to buy the guys right like would you guys be willing to buy me a, a $150 joystick and they're probably like <sighs> They're like, you that's scrub. It? All right. That's Take, how much that's the keyboard it. costs for this guy. Yeah, you know? we'll send you two jerseys and mm -hmm. give you a canoe to get around the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you need. Yeah. I think it's, I mean, think about it. It's so much, it's a, a, a FGC player for the most part is self-sustaining. It's like, hey, just let yeah. me, give me enough time to play games and play for my flight and room. Yeah. You did your job. Yeah. Dude, and you, that's that's the scary part, though. This is 100% like real talk now. Scary part is that I'm worried that there's a lot of players out there who are like, yo, you'll pay for my entry fee, flight, and hotel? I'm in. Take I'm it. winning. They're not waiting for uh, something that's yeah, more Yeah, they're lucrative. not fighting for something that would be more... That's, that's, beneficial that's why I'm afraid of like the whole flavor of the month thing. Because I yeah, feel like there's yeah. a lot of people out there getting offers, and they might be getting offers, and they need to look at that... First off, I would say look at the fine print, one. Two, make sure it's something that, that's realistic to you. Because I feel like some of the goals that are set or expectations that come from yourself or even the people that you might be sponsored by might be a little far-fetched. But you just got to make sure that's something you want. Right? Yeah, I feel like everybody has to take a good look at the contract. Like, it doesn't have to be by me. There are other lawyers who specialize in this stuff. But they're just like contracts, and you if you know somebody who does contract law, if you have like a family friend or something, just have them look at it. Or even barring all that, just go on Google and be like, what what is indemnity? What does that mean for me? Like stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I have no idea what that means. Like seriously, you have to you have to look up like what are my rights of publicity, like things like that. Like you really have to look into what those are so that you know. I didn't even know what an arbiter was. Right. right. So. <laughs> I just send anything uh, your way. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to, but, you know, if not me, just have somebody to check it out. you got to make just, sure that you're protected. Sure you're you know? aware, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Call 1-800-ALTRA-DAVID some of these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you don't have that number already. -A -D -A -D -A -D -A -D That's 10. Do. Yeah, you've got three. Two, Hong Kong at law. Wait, may, but maybe there's a place where U-L-T is the area code. <laughs> this is sticking way Man, too far. I don't like that face at yeah. all. That made me so uncomfortable. His head <laughs> reeled mean, back. You're in another dimension for a second there. You need DPG A law is what you need. Oh, that's good. DPG A law. DPG A law. What about DPG 8 Law? <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> eight, 8 Law. Well, that's going to be it for us. <laughs> <laughs> the choke. I do, yeah. I do like like honk law or something like that. Honk oh. law, that would honk get me law. all the clients. Yeah. Honk law. Yeah. yeah. Gross. Honk. Yeah. Um, oh, the Bud Light thing also. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh. So, you so can does vote. anybody know how this works? Go, go. Yes, I do. 
So, Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I don't. I so do. Curious. Okay, well, you'll soon know. <laughs> so, the way that it works, <laughs> by the way, just as an aside, remember last time I was laughing so hard for, like, no reason right, while James uh, was doing uh, the intro? Yeah. yeah. It's because James did the same intro, like, four times, like, while ta- trying to talk about it, <laughs> you just kept repeating <laughs> I was like, what is this? How long is this going to last? Anyway, so... At I the know. very end of the show, he brings it back. <laughs> so I know what it is. And, pretty soon <laughs> <laughs> and in just a moment, you guys will know. So, anyway, so to explain what it is. What is going on? <laughs> so to explain go, you gotta go now. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, so Bud Light can let you, or you, you can vote for different players to be part of Bud Light All-Stars. And the way that you do that is by voting on Twitter using a particular hashtag. Uh, and I think there are five players who can be chosen, and they're from like different games. It's not just from fighting games, it's, like famous other players, basically. Um, even people who are sponsored by other teams, like anybody can be part of this. So mm-hmm. for fighting games, there's like Filipino Champ and uh, 801 Strider, Chris Tatarian, and Chris Tatarian, Chase the Ace, and Chase the Ace. Yeah. So those first two are already on like big teams, but you can also have them be a Bud Light All Star. Which I don't know if they fully explain what that entails yet, but um, they're just like it's, it's gonna be sweet. Yeah, it'll be sweet. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to hear more about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now you know what that is, more or less. I do have one last question. Oh no, David. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting over cold. <laughs> now I'm scared to ask, who is hell? <laughs> it was so well timed. That was. I'm not. It's just. I'm getting. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. Coughing. You good? I don't feel like I have a cough. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I guess. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh my God. Who is El Chapo? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so there was a guy who signed up at DreamHack whose name was signed up was Shin, Shin El Chapo 666. Okay. El Chapo is just a famous Mexican drug lord who's been, like, in and out of jail. And he, like, escaped jail in mysterious circumstances at one point, and then they found him again. And I just thought it was, like a like, a weird name to use as, like, your random jerky Shin... Like Akuma, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six 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 Shin El Chapo six six six. Right. He just I don't know if that's the guy you want to be like messing with, really. Right. Yeah. 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 He yeah making... Shin Akuma six 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 is way like, better. Yeah. yeah. He kept making references to whoever El Chapo was, and I was like, I have no idea who this guy is. On commentary? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just. And I, was, I, and I tried uh, looking up who he was on. I typed El Chapo into my phone like while I'm on the stream. Uh-huh. To see if I could find it, and there was like El Chapo disambiguation, you know, because there's like seven it's different El nickname, Chapos, yeah, you know. But yeah, um, he's a he's a bad guy. And that was <laughs> a guy's name, huh? Shin El Chapo six six six. Yeah, I was hoping he would have. I don't know. Just you like, were saying that he didn't look cool he didn't, enough to be an El not Chapo. Not cool enough, but like like crazy enough. Yeah, like wild enough. I feel like you gotta be God wild. Guy comes up and he's like, he's like I deep. wanna have like wild, wild eyes or something. I'll know. tell you, the best name I've heard this year that's new to me is the Wonk Donkler. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonk oh, Donkler. No, we kept talking about yeah. that. We, yeah. we you you kept that. saying his name. Yeah. Like, over, and I was so happy with it. I was like, yeah. please yeah. keep saying Wonk Donkler. Yeah, that was a good one. And then Bone Jam made, came up to the stage and I was like, he, Bong should, Jam he should be Bonk Chonkler. <laughs> Can you imagine Wonk Donkler versus the Bonk Chonkler? <laughs> I just gave out a small snort. <laughs> I can't even stop like, it. can you imagine if they became friends and that, those were their names? It's the Bonk Donkler. I tweeted about the Wong Donkler's name, and then I got a tweet from at Birdie Sanders, and he was like, "Thanks for liking my name." And I clicked on it, and he was the Wong Donkler. And I was like, "You have the best nicknames." Birdie he, he, he was Birdie Sanders. He was Birdie, and this is before like anything. He it was this like was before the bird flew on his it podium. It was before the bird, so it was like before Birdie. Sanders of the thing. So it was like, this was back at like, it was the first Holy CPT crap. event. So he was Bertie Sanders, the Wonk Genius. Donkler. And then like, I said, like, I think a uh, Filipino man replied and was like, that name's good. And he's like, tag creation is an art. And I'm That's awesome. doing okay. Bertie right. Sanders is the, the Wonk Donkler. The Wonk Sanders. Donkler. No about it. That guy's this guy, a legend. This guy, he is, the, I'm, next time I need a nickname for something, I'm contacting Yo. the Wonk Donkler Yo. for sure. At Bertie Sanders. You just, if you replace those letters, 
like keep the same structure but replace the starting letters, you get lots of good names. Oh my god. I feel like you've like done the homework. Tom yeah, you, the, you could be the Tom Conkler. The, the Tom Conkler. You could be the Tom Conkler. Oh, yeah, there's, yeah, there's no bad Conkler. That works well, with see, everything. But you can't use it with the word, the letter M, right? Because then you'd be the monk. You wouldn't be the monk. The monk Conkler. Right? <laughs> you could so, totally be the monk Conkler. <laughs> the monk Conkler? Yeah, you're okay. the monk Conkler. Okay. What about the... Like, he is TNS, so he'd be the Tonk Conkler. <laughs> You'd be the Donk Onkler. The Donk Onkler? <laughs> <Don Conkler. laughs> and you'd be the John Conkler. <laughs> John. That the sounds John. like somebody's actual name. John, John, John Conkler. Conkler. <laughs> I'd be so Zonk can, Onkler. Can we rename yep. BJ Unchained to the Zonk Bonkler? Oh! oh fucking God. God. <laughs> what? This Love just it. blew my Love mind. It. Love it. Love it. He would like that name, too. Zonk Bonkler? The Zonk Bonkler? Holy moly, well, that's go. good. Love it. I'm telling you. Good night, everybody. Anything else to talk about? Uh, no, I think we got it. That's Zonk Bonkler. It. That's it. <laughs> the long buck. Yeah, you'd be the Tonk Bonkler. Because you're Tasty Steve, or if you're Steve Scott, it's Zonk Bonkler. <laughs> David, I don't know how to pronounce that. That's hard. <laughs> the Wonk. Wonk Donkler. The Wonk, yeah. the Wonk Donkler. That sounds like the higher up in the tribe from Wonk Donkler. <laughs> like the Wonk is like the elder. That would be sick. Wonk. This has gone on so long. <laughs> Wonk, we uh, need your advice. Wonk. Oh my god. Uh, Chief okay. Wonk Donkler. Oh, all right. What a silly name. Thank well, you everyone for tuning in. That'll be it. Hope you guys enjoyed another. We're not going anywhere this weekend. That's Actually, cool. that's true. So maybe, maybe this weekend, like we said, we'll try to set something up and play some Street Fighter or something like Civil that. Civil so. War into Mario Party post show would be sick. Dude, you just want that Mario Party? I so want to see you be very. Let's angry. do it. I think that sounds awesome. I just bought a huge handle of uh, tequila. Are you allowed to drink what on Twitch sound. stream? That Beautiful. was good. That was a really good high five. <laughs> Don't, nobody do another one because yeah, nothing's no, going to no, beat that. Yeah, yeah. I felt that in my hand. Like, I felt it, the thumb cup. Yeah. It was yeah. right here. That's yeah. where that sound yeah. came yep, from. I feel it too. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you're not allowed to openly drink on stream, but I think if we have, like, bottles or cups or something of something else, or if we do it off stream, it'll be fine. Okay. That's fine. We can skirt the lines. I'm all about skirts. Me too. Bye. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>